I fell in love with freediving when my friend Chelsea taught me in the Philippines. I had never tried slowing down my heart rate to hold my breath longer. I had never experienced my thoughts coming in so slowly, one at a time. It was incredible. Let's fast forward a year. I've been freediving as much as possible and I've met some awesome friends along the way. We decided to get together with the intention of doing a freedive trip. We all met up in Bali, made a plan, and went to the airport. We flew to Tarakan, went to the port, and got on a speedboat. Suddenly, our three-hour boat ride became five hours. Wilson! The spirits were still high. Eventually, we made it to this little group of islands. This is Darawan. This little island might not look like much, but it's surrounded by some of the most incredible marine habitats in the world. We unloaded off the boat and explored the little town during sunset. The next seven days were packed with an adventurous schedule. Here's what our week looked like. An early wake-up call, usually around 5 a.m., just as the sun was rising. We'd pack our bags and jump on the boat. An incredible sky greeted us every day. As we arrived at our dive spots, we would gear up and begin our breathing exercises. It was time to fill our bodies with oxygen, relax, then slow down our heart rate to maximize our breath holds. Darawan is the most diverse place I've ever done. I've never been somewhere where you can see so many different things underwater in one week. Like this lake filled with thousands of harmless jellyfish. As our lungs expanded while we dove, we were able to hold our breath for around two minutes at a time. One morning, we got super lucky. We jumped in the water and there was a massive school of fish. We decided to follow the school of fish and a giant whale shark came out of nowhere. Then five more followed and started swimming around with us. This was definitely a highlight of the trip because it's incredibly rare to find these beautiful creatures in a purely wild environment. Usually they're surrounded by tourists. After the dives, it was time to explore the countless uninhabited islands surrounding us. Each one was a little slice of paradise. We played coconut bowling. Coconut bowling! Oh. Oh. Which is definitely a fun game to try on the beach. And we also discovered Josiah can climb palm trees. Oh my gosh. Wow! That's actually incredible. I'm super oh impressed. God. I was not expecting that. We would go home before dark and decompress after a busy day of exploring. We'd play board games, meditate, or sit together and watch the sunset. <laughs> I got to experience another side of freediving on this trip. I learned how solid friendships become when you're not only exploring, but also teaching each other. <laughs> 